Hey everyone, welcome to um, another episode of In the Kitchen with Sandy. And um, on today's episode, I have a really tasty a recipe to share with you. Um, it requires just a few ingredients, and it's so simple to make, so easy, and it's so delicious. And I'm excited to share this. So let's go over what we'll, we will be using. And I guess I'll tell you the name of it. This is my um, cabbage and chicken stir fry. So easy, so easy. So what we're gonna be using today is some um, chicken thighs. These are just chicken thighs. If you have chicken breast, you can use chicken breast. Use whatever chicken that you have is, is fine, but I prefer the chicken thighs because they're more tender um, and they have a better flavor. Um, I've also got some cabbage that I've um, chopped finely here and um, some mushrooms that I've just diced up in chunks. You don't have to um, cut them too small because, you know, they'll, they'll wield up and um, they'll shrink, some shrinkage. Um, and then I've also got some red pepper here, uh, just a little bit of chopped red pepper, uh, chopped small. Here I have some um, garlic salt and some uh, garlic powder a little bit of soy sauce and some pepper and some extra virgin olive oil. Now I'm not going to use any additional salt uh, because the soy sauce has a lot of salt in it and um, yeah and let's begin. I also need about, uh, well I'll give you all the ingredients um, either at the bottom um, in the comment area or I'll post them somewhere on the screen. Um, the, the full recipe, but we're also going to be using um, about a half a cup of water. So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to take my chicken thighs and I'm just going to put some pepper on them. I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to salt them. Well, we're going to try to put some pepper on there. Okay. All right. I got to get my other pepper. So you might want to use the other one because. Huh? I was going to say you might want to use the other one because I couldn't get any out of them. Okay. So we're just going to pepper these. And we're gonna fry these naked. That means that I'm not gonna put any, um, I'm not gonna put any flour or anything on these. And now you can chop these or cut these up before you fry them if you want to. It might make it easier. Um, but I like to do that when the chicken is is like partially frozen. It makes it a lot easier to cut if you if it's partially frozen. Look at that. Look at what a handy tool that is. Isn't that neat? compliments of my mama. And again, just pepper them. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the stove and we're going to put some olive oil in our pan and we're going to get some oil. I'm adding um, my olive oil to my pan and we're going to let this get nice and hot. I'm adding my chicken to my pan. just going to uh, fry this or saute it um, probably about four or five minutes on each side. It doesn't have to be completely done so don't worry if it's not um, because it's going to cook a little bit longer in with the cabbage. Okay I brown my chicken on both sides um, for about four to five minutes on each side. It's probably not thoroughly done but that's okay because um, I'm going to cut it up, dice it up after it cools. I'm draining it on a paper towel lined plate and I'm going to slice it once it cools and then it'll go back in with the rest of the ingredients. My chicken is um, cut up. What I've done is I fried it for like four or five minutes on each side. I, lined, I put it on a paper towel lined plate. Um, patted it, some of the grease off of it, and I let it cool somewhat, and then I cut it up. Um, it's not completely done, so, uh, but we're going to continue to cook it uh, a little bit. So now into this pan, I'm not draining any of my olive oil out of here. I'm going to go ahead and throw my cabbage in. And this looks like a lot of cabbage, but um, it'll cook down. I'm also going to add my red peppers. Look at that. Oh, and that gorgeous. Beautiful. And I'm not going to throw my mushrooms in just yet because they don't take long to cook. And I like, um, cabbage will take a, a few more minutes than the um, mushrooms. So we're going to add the mushrooms last. And you can go ahead and throw in your garlic salt and garlic powder. And 
nice. and throw my water in. Take my temperature down. And my soy sauce. And now it's back up to boiling, so I'm going to go ahead and throw my chicken in. Because it's going to continue to cook as well. Yummy, yummy. I love cabbage. Cabbage is absolutely delicious. Now, we're going to let this cook for probably about 10 minutes. Okay, I'm adding the mushrooms. I'm going to get about five or six more minutes. We're going to cook this. And I want a little bit of my... Um, juice to cook out of there so I've turned it up a little bit I've got it like on medium high now I had cooked it on medium before um, so now we're gonna incorporate the mushrooms and then we're gonna let it cook for about another five or six minutes and then we're gonna dig in look at that it's gorgeous make sure you get some of that good Good juice that's run off of it. And this is perfect this time of year because the cabbage is take my glasses off. The cabbage is um, in abundance right now. Look at that, look at that delicious juice there. You know I'm about to dig into this. Now we're gonna have to give this a couple minutes because it is hot. If I can wait. hot. Wish you could smell it. Mm, 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 mm. That is really tasty. It's like Chinese takeout at home. I'm going to have another bite. Mmm. Hot. Make sure you try this. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, and Pinterest. And I have a new group called Creative Cooking. Um, where you can join it and interact with um, other people who love to cook as well. They're posting recipes left and right every day. Um, and I post a lot of recipes on there daily as well. So make sure that you give this a try. Um, it's amazing. And I'll see you next time. Bye.